Consider the first and second rules of Go together. Each player may only play one stone at a time, and a group is only captured when all of their liberties have been occupied. This group of stones has two inside liberties, which might seem okay for now. But if the white player throws in a stone, the group is down to one liberty. Even if the black player captures the white stone, the white player can immediately play back in that space to capture all of the black stones. However, if we shift half of the stones so that the two liberties are separated, white can no longer capture any of the black stones. If white tries to play in either of the two spots, the black stones will each have one liberty open and avoid capture. Since white can only play one stone at a time and would suicide by playing in either spot, the black stones as a whole are considered alive. The two separated territory regions are called eyes, and so the derived rule follows. A group is alive if it has or can make two eyes. Consider this black group with three inside liberties. Is this group dead or alive? If black plays in the middle point, we can clearly see that black has created two eyes. But what if it's white's turn to play? If white plays on that same vital point, then black can't react. Black has no way of dividing up the region into two separate eyes. White doesn't need to play any further and will capture all of the stones at the end of the game. The fate of this group with the three size eye space depends on who is able to place the first stone. If it's Black's turn, it's alive. And if it's White's turn, it is dead. What about this case where the Black group has four liberties in a straight line? As before, Black clearly creates two distinct eyes by placing a stone on either of these middle points. But Black doesn't need to be proactive like before. If white had the first action and placed a stone on one of these points, black could immediately place their stone on the other middle point to create two eyes. The only way that white could kill the black group is if they got two turns in a row. Since players alternate moves, the original position should be considered alive for black at the end of the game. No further play needed. Of course, the open space could still be used as a threat if there is a Ko somewhere on the board. If black has just taken a stone in Ko, White might play a stone inside of the eye space to induce Black to play a reaction. White could then go back to the Ko and push it back in their direction. If Black ignores the threat instead, then White can play a second move inside the Black group to kill it, gaining compensation for whatever they may have lost from the Ko. When it comes to Ko fights, it's important to evaluate the threats available in order to get a good result. Good evaluation of Ko fights is difficult because of how difficult it can be to evaluate how many points a position is worth. Positional evaluation in general is a big consideration when playing the game. When you see your opponent's move, you need to consider if you need to react to it locally. Does the opponent's move threaten the life of a group? If you ignore the move, how much will a second move in the same area hurt? Can you make a move that the opponent needs to react to first before coming back to the original area? Getting a good intuition for the value of each move will help you take the initiative with your moves rather than always following your opponent around. AlphaGo has shown a strong ability to make moves that help it keep the initiative, contributing greatly to its success in games. Before ending this video, there is one special case of life that you should know about. This is an example of dual life, or Seki. In this situation, the white and black stones are each surrounded on the outside, and their two inside liberties are shared by the two groups. Neither player actually wants to play a stone on either liberty, since while it does put the opponent into Atari, it puts the player's own stones into the same state. Since neither player will want to play inside the space, the game will end with neither of the points counting for either player.